Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. Uh, we are not having a map now, we're not playing a map. This is something new I want to do for the channel, and uh, to be a bit more useful to the community. I want to make a video from time to time informing you guys about the new mods and maybe new stuff ha happening in the community. Farming similar to 17, 19, uh, modders, uh, maps, uh, all this different stuff. Um, maybe it can be once a week, maybe it can be more often, maybe not even so much. But I, I would like to do something different uh, just to help out the community. Promotes maybe some of the... Uh, modders out there because they're beautiful mods not getting attention that they truly deserve so hopefully this is going to help out uh, modders and the community now this is something widely known but i'm still going to recap and input a little bit of my opinion into this so i would like to um go with um sorry about that i would like to go with this um uh, with the Farmer Simulator 19 fact sheet. Uh, obviously, I'm not reading this from uh, <laughs> pre-written text. Uh, the confusion and tells everything. So also, um, uh, this is my kind of, not first reaction, I already saw all of these uh, fact sheets, but uh, I want to tell you what I think about them and uh, uh, I want to uh, input my comment on them. So let's begin. Uh, I downloaded all the photos from uh, Facebook page uh, Giants. Farming Simulator 17 Facebook page or Farming Simulator Facebook page and uh, I put them in chronological order as we receive them. So let's begin. First we have a Massey Ferguson Ideal which is also Fent Ideal. Uh, it's the new biggest tractor, uh, new biggest harvester in the game. I think it looks magnificent. This is uh, reminds me a little bit of a Rostomash uh, Harvesters, the, the the one that we got as a mod from Giants that looks really beautiful, that's my favorite Harvester, and this one looks even, maybe even better. Even, uh, it's too big for my taste, but I think it looks even better. Uh, it, it comes into two different variants, uh, Ideal is a company, uh, sorry, the, um, I think they're all a consortium of, uh, in, inside the Agco consortium both Massey Ferguson and Fent and Ideal is a model of Harvester and this one is actually Massey Ferguson one you have the same exactly one with the Fent label on but Fent or Massey Ferguson I think it looks magnificent it looks beautiful I think that's the most beautiful Harvester in game um, you can see all the facts about it uh, on the right hand side I'm not gonna read them out or maybe I could 465,000 euros the price horsepower not really mad doesn't really matter in the harvesters um, speed 40 kilometers per hour and capacity is amazing 17,100 liters of uh, um, crops now width of the header is not the biggest one uh you have 14 or 14.7 14 14.5 meters new holland uh, headers but uh, this one is pretty big i think it, it doesn't doesn't make a lot of difference in the grand scheme of things this is just amazing uh header is also expensive 79,000 euros okay let's continue on um this is samson uh uh tanker plus the the injectors so the tanker is 87,000 uh, euros I think it can you be used as a spreader like sprayer and also can be used with these wings or the injectors um, you can change the wheel setup cost 87,000 plus the the injectors cost additional 40,000 um, but I think the Samson alone can be used as a transporter of slurry also not really sure about that but uh, it makes a lot of sense without the attachment in the back uh, or maybe he's gonna have a different attachment like the what's am I call it the yellow tanker yellow tank with a six meter wide uh, uh, cultivator inside but anyway this is this is amazing uh, I, I love this I'm gonna be using this so uh, Samson continuing Fent tractor we have a high-end big tractor uh, Fent 427,000 euros what's more uh, what's important about it mm, 40 kilometer per hour speed that's usual for tract tractors um, uh, 600 yeah 492 
to 646 horsepower. I'm still not used to using kilowatts, even though I should. Horsepower is one of those Stone Age measurements that um, I often dislike, but um, I still keep using it. Um, the other one is Elmer's Hallmaster. That's Ogre Wagon, 93,000 euros. It has a flexible capacity between 46,000 liters to 70,000 liters. And it accepts, uh, accepts a whole bunch of crops plus fer uh, solid fertilizer and the seeds. Right, uh, does it not accept something? Oh, it doesn't accept corn. No, it does, it does. You, you have, yeah, it accepts something, everything, except uh, 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 cotton, cotton, yes, that's the one. <laughs> it doesn't accept cotton. Okay, let's continue on. We have a John Deere 8R series. Everybody is shocked about this one. I mean, everybody knows that it's in the game already. Uh, and it's the most most screenshotted tra tractor in the whole giant genre of farming simulators because we can see it everywhere now because yes giants signed the contract they were the first ones signed the contract with john deere and they gonna have few pieces of equipment i don't think it's gonna be that much and like other youtubers said um we can probably expect john deere add-on I believe so too. So John Deere is here. That's a medium to high end tractor. Uh, it's pretty powerful. Not something that I will be driving too often as well as a previous Fent also. Uh, I like the smaller equipment. Uh, speed, of course, uh, with uh, wheeled tractors, they usually go 50, 60 kilometers per hour. This one is 299,000 euros, which is not the most expensive one, but it's really good. Garant container. This is the one of those containers. You, see, you can see in the back here the Samson uh, um, slurry spreader. And uh, yeah, it's taking a load from the container here. Yeah. So, uh, field container. We had that in previous uh, in FS17. 55,000 liters, 25,000 euros. All already known to us. Now, we have case, quad track. Something I never drew. Right? I think I did in 15. Uh, this is also extremely high-end tractor, like ca extreme capacities and whatnot. Uh, or, or horsepower. I'm being, yeah. Uh, 5 to 5, uh, 525 to 692 horsepower. Uh, like I said, tract tractors have a limited speed. This one has 40 kilometers per hour. Uh, 438,000 uh, euros price. Now, Wilson trailer, this is something I'm going to be using on American maps, definitely. Wilson trailer, semi-trailer, 60,000 liter capacity. That's the one that has dual chambers inside, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually accept the two types of crops, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it looks amazing. 80,000 euros for a trailer. Let's move on. Um, this is the strange one. This is, I, I thought about a lot about this one. It's cool, it's good, but it's really expensive. So this is Grimmy um, Varitron 470 uh, Terra Track, Platinum Terra Track. It has the tracks in the, as a back wheels, front wheels are skinny ones, so they don't damage the, the potatoes when they come out of ground. Now, it, it's good, it's amazing, but it's too expensive. It's, it's like it has a small capacity of only just under 10,000 liters, 9,590 liter capacity, while you have the Grimmy ones almost the same price in-game ones that we already have in 17, with twice the capacity and almost the same price. Um, it, I, I, I'm going to do more crop uh, uh, root crops in the future, even in 17 and in following episodes, but this is this is I'm I'm a little bit disappointed. Maybe it's really the, how much it costs, but this is really really expensive. I really want to concentrate more on the root crops, sugar beets, and potatoes to see how much of an effort they are, and because I think they are hugely underappreciated crop. 
but anyway i'm looking forward to this i wish I'm, i can afford it and it looks something more that we would be seeing in the fields of central east in europe western europe more so than the previous one with a huge capacity 20 000 liter one so yeah uh, this one looks, looks much better but the smaller capacity and the same price i'm, I'm not impressed uh but i i am looking forward to using it now continuing on Wetterstadt. this is the new not brand but uh, new equipment from them in fs19 Wetterstadt is uh, one of the world biggest cedar producers uh they're really really good but i personally never saw something this big from them now they have a seed hawk in the back as well but i think they purchased that of american company and uh, they own that now so the it looks like uh, I forgot what's the big but DLC Cedar name, uh, but I think it's just rebranded as Weatherstadt. But I think in real life they also rebranded. So, but this setup alone costs 290,000 plus 185,000 euros. This setup, this is for huge maps, this is for one of those big American maps, uh, Australian, uh, probably even South American. Canadian maps, uh, definitely not something that you would see in small fields of Ireland or Germany. Now, uh, yeah, they can see the whole crops, grass, all that good stuff, not the big ones, not the uh, sunflower, sugar beet or corn. Right, let's go on. Uh, yeah, so you have, seed, you have cart and toolbar. Hardy. This is what I don't use much in my Let's Plays, and I really, really want to. Uh, these um, uh, sprayers, um, the self-propelled sprayers, and uh, the front boom, boom on the front, I think that's a good thing for the balance of the whole uh, machine. You have engine in the back, tank in the middle, and boom in the front. Uh, I don't know if it's better or not uh, than the, having a boom uh, in the back, but I think I like this one more uh, when it has in front. I think New Holland has in front as well, but I, I like I said, I didn't use it much, so I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'll do better next time. Anyway, 489,000 uh, euros, uh, 370 horsepower, 50 kilometers per hour road speed. That's fine. Working speed is 25 kilometers per hour. That, I'm surprised about that. Usually um, this kind of equipment is around 20 or even under 20, 000, uh, 20 kilometers per hour. But this one is 25, 9,000 liter capacity and the working width of 48.5 meters. Let's move on oh and here you can see the little icons here this is a liquid fertilizer and i believe this is a herbicide this is for the herbs for killing the weeds right uh komatsu this is not something i'm gonna be using much i haven't used scorpion king as well um i'll probably do from time to time but not very often i love forestry i really like it but i think it has to giants has to improve the physics in well, bale handling and uh forestry but i think they're going the right way uh in the right direction with whole forestry expanding farming uh, stuff i think forestry is a really good uh, way to go i just hope it's gonna be better than in fs17 and we're golden uh komatsu uh tree harvester i believe this is gonna be a replacement for scorpion king that we're not gonna have scorpion king in the next one i don't know why i can guess my guess would be that they didn't extend the contracts with uh, scorpion king or they signed uh, more affordable contracts with uh, komatsu not really sure that's my guess but uh, in the greater scheme of things they are pretty much the same if they look different i mean, mean that they had to create a model from the ground up uh, but in a user perspective like myself uh, i don't think I'm, it makes a lot of difference to me at least uh, which one i'm going to be using uh, but really nice um this is something i'm gonna be using mount truck uh, i don't know if this is the one with um like a it runner hookup or not or is it just for, no it's a just timber truck this is the whole truck made just for timber uh processing now i just noticed something guys can you see the tree here is not straight usually the the all the trees in the fs17 are straight and this one is not 
does this mean that we're gonna have different uh, differently bent trees i don't know maybe we will this is interesting one and it looks like the one that they are handling at the moment is also a little bit bent towards forward hmm that's gonna be a huge improvement if the physics improved and they are making this kind of diverse trees this this is gonna be really nice I like this and uh, I will be using this one as well. I probably have a little bit more than the Kamatsu ones. Um, I do like forestry, just, you know, not extreme forestry. Right, Star. Oh, this is something, this is the, something up our alley. Uh, 129 to 175 horsepower. Uh, tractor, 112,000 euros. Perfect. Price, perfect. Size, perfect everything 50 kilometers per hour for a small trailer 10 15 tons thousand liters perfect all those narrow tires for spraying this is just something that that just fits just fits now long neck combi plus this is a logging tongs but i'm not really sure if it's supposed to be used like that or are there any additional features it looks like it can be extended as well it doesn't look like it can be extended by far, but still. Um, this is new. This is new. And again, I can see that this tree is bent. So it's not perfectly straight like all the trees in FS17. Okay, let's go on. Uh, case. Okay, this is new. Okay, we, ha we can see here the trailer, which is more important. I mean, Maxim series. Um, this is new. Maxim series are new. And this is uh, smaller horsepower than Puma. Puma. Uh, case Puma. And this is what we're going to be using more. I like case and I'm really happy that they have something in between the small one and uh, Puma. So we can actually stick with case manufacturer and it looks really cool. I like the li lights on the cabin here. Also uh, the 3D brand sign here. It looks really, really good. Tires look good. The front bonnet looks amazing. Uh, this is something. This could be my favorite tractor. Could be. Not sure. We'll see, but probably. Challenger, yes. Something, again, that I'm not going to be using much. It's For me, it's overpowered, and I'm not really a big fan of track the tractors. Um, all right, so we have standard... Oh, is this tires? No, standard tracks and 3-meter tracks. Um, Bentnar, this is also something for um, big uh tractors cultivator i think this is the cultivator that uh, fertilizes as well yes so it cultivates and fertilizes the ground at the same time this is really useful like i'm telling to a lot of people like they say oh this is only six meters yeah but it does two things at once it, that's like 12 meter single implement that's like having a 12 meter uh cultivator and then 12 meter sprayer or fertilizer sprayer so this six like six meter ones or like in the Kuhn DLC that we had from S FS15 um, uh, they do multiple stuff if in Kuhn DLC if you put on the front of the tractor the seed holder the seed tank in the back subsoiler and after subsoiler you put cedar it actually does three things at once with a three meter uh, implement it does Cultivating, uh, plowing, cultivating, and seeding at the same time. That's equal to a 9 meter uh, implement. It does take a lot of horsepower, but it saves you going up and down the field multiple times. Uh, like now, I was uh, the other day I was going from work and um, they harvested a field right next to where I work. And they had a tractor that plows, second one cultivates, third one seeds. 10 days later, we I already have a little uh, uh, wheat <laughs> growing from the ground. Wheat or barley, not really sure. But one of those things is growing already after 10 days. And they did it early. Harvest one day, second day, plow, uh, fertilize seed. There you go. We're done for today. For the, the season. <laughs> uh, amazing work. This co combination tools, combi tools, I think it's amazing. Um, now, the module express case cotton harvester this is something i will rarely use i have to admit uh, i might change my mind later on because in europe we don't have many uh, 
I, I think there are only three countries that have minimal amount of cotton fields. Uh, those, as far as I remember, are Italy, Greece, and Spain, or something like that. Maybe it was one of the island countries. Like, not not really sure. Doesn't matter. But uh, I, if I change my mind and start doing huge farms, which is also plausible, uh, I might uh, switch to all those big harvesters. And I, I like to watch uh, big farming videos, like uh, Millennium Farmer and. Um, all those American farmers, I watch them, I, a lot of them, and I do appreciate that, I just think it's a lot of work. Uh, sometimes it kills fun, but if I change my mind, I think this is the way we're gonna go. So here we can see that we have 20,000 liters capacity of this uh, baler, or, yeah, it's the baler harvester boat, uh, of this harvester, 20,000 liters. Now, my question is, what happens if you finish the harvest, there's no more fields, and you have 19,500 liters in the tank? Can you just uh, eject that bale, or you have to wait for a new year, new harvest, to, to fill it in all the way? Right. Now, uh, this is something I'm going to be using. Uh, first of all, Valtra T-Series. 210 250 horsepower perfect big size for me this is obviously going to be a like medium sized tractor and uh coon manure spreader this is something new this is something i never saw it actually sprays the manure from the front side of the um trailer i love it i love this and i'm going to be using this one very very much 10 meter spreading width fifteen thousand liter capacity uh, I love both of those things. This is something that I'm going to be using all the time. Like the Maxim case. This, this is top notch. Now, New Holland, the skid steer loader. Um, 35,000 euros, really good price. But we have another thing uh, that is also competitive. The, I'm not, it's not here. I don't believe it's here in the spreadsheets, but uh, something I'm going to show you later on. But yeah anyway uh good stuff uh bucket it doesn't say how much capacity is it, it usually was 1800 1900 i think the modded ones had uh, up to 2000 liters i'm not sure no 2000 was in game one as well yeah so yeah skid steel load of classic probably um bale grab bale spike pallet forks a manure fork a bucket all that good stuff and this one is filling manure for the Voltra you can see here in the coon uh, trailer right oh it's a also high dump bucket that you can uh, put in one place and just tip it over with uh, hydraulics here that, that's really really good now crone big M I know everybody is crazy about this one unfortunately I'm not um, it's expensive <laughs> it's a big expensive equipment now mowing with 10 meters, 9.9 .9 meters, 380,000 price tag, a self propel mower. Um, I like Crone, I think Crone is one of the best companies in the world, I love it, but uh, I'm not going to be using this one that much, uh, probably leasing it if I have a lot of fields until I can afford it, but um, from time to time I will probably lease it. Fast track, one other thing I don't use enough but i'm not sure if i'm gonna be using it in the future uh it's not too tractor it look like this is one of the best tractors for hauling stuff selling stuff uh, picking up from the field and i don't do enough of that so that's why i didn't use it that much 196 000, but the horsepower are horsepower is perfect for a uh, high-end uh tractor that can haul here in this case 45,000 to 48 and a half thousand liter uh, loads I would actually uh, I wouldn't uh, put so much pressure on it I would probably use uh, a smaller capacity but I think it can handle it perfectly but 235 horsepower maybe a little bit of a struggle for that okay let's continue on uh, new Holland front loader we're gonna get a whole new there's no Lee bar anymore I mean I don't know we still don't know but uh, obviously we are gonna have new Holland and uh, maybe they're gonna ditch something we have JCB and Lee bar now right so this one is 175,000 that's pretty expensive I think Lee bar was 124,000 or something like that and the front bucket only 3,000 liters I think it was four and a half or even five six hmm yeah this is a bit small 
Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, John Deere. Uh, 6M series. This is something you're gonna see on my farms, definitely, especially Irish ones, uh, maybe smaller American ones, <laughs> even, and I don't know if you US guys have small farms, everything I see from US, it's kilometers and kilometers long. So, yeah, for yard work, and here in the back I mentioned that there's a, some kind of shredder, and this looks like a bale shredder. This seems like a better shredder that you attach to a tractor and it lifts up that you're gonna have to have a, a heavy weight in front. But uh, this is this is really good stuff. And uh, John Deere front loader and uh, Warzy, Warzy, bell sp spike. Oh, that's the unroller one that can spin around, I think. I think so. Well, I'm not sure anymore, but uh, yeah, okay. Let's continue on this video. He's already, we are only halfway there and already 25 minutes in the video. Now, um, uh, Strautmann VM uh, 1702 double uh, SF fast cut. So this is the, the silage cutter front end is a silage pickup cutter. And this is the standard one. Even 17,000 liter, it doesn't sound standard. 16,000 liter are, is the capacity of the uh, ones we had in uh, FS17. Uh, so this is kind of perfect for bale of hay, bale of straw and rest of it silage. I think that would be the perfect mix for the cows with this one. I'm gonna be using this one definitely. If I play American farms, maybe even, I'm not sure about English and Irish farms, maybe, but American definitely. Voltra, small Voltra, love it. 65,100 horsepower, A series. We didn't have this one. This is an extra small one. Uh, this is probably the first one I'm ever gonna buy. Uh, 65.6 thousand euros, 100 to 110 horsepower. So small upgrade there and has everything that we need. This would be perfect with Kuhn DLC uh, sprayer that has a front tank and rear tank. I think this would fit perfectly. Uh, windrower, American style windrower. I don't fancy this one that much. I like the, these ones and I like the, what's it, I call it, the, the Kuhn DLC one. Uh, uh, the, the, the one with the conveyor belts. Merger, Merger is the name. I kind of like that, but this is uh, too alien technology for me. I know how it works, but uh, I, I never saw it in real life. I saw it a couple of times on videos on YouTube, but uh, it's really strange. Uh, but this thing scares me. Uh, <laughs> no, no kidding. Of course, we're gonna play with it. Uh, that's uh, we, we mean. I need to try this. I need to see how this works. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, Schuttenmacher. Shooter maker, shooter maker, shooter maker, huge, huge capacity trailer, uh, 53,000 to 56,500. Probably you're not gonna see much of that. Uh, oh, sorry, it's a grass pickup, it has a pickup in the front. Oh, it's a loading wagon. Yes, I'm sorry, I should read. Huge capacity, it's 150,000 euros, huge price tag on this one. Case, uh, yeah, seven, uh, 7200 or 7200 Pro Series. Yeah, one of the things I want to mention, they don't say, the, they don't write here about the maintenance price, maintenance price uh, of these vehicles, but I have to say that uh, usually these kind of tractors that are quite cheap for their horsepower have a huge maintenance bill, like twice as much as the normal tractors. I think we can expect this in FS19 as well. Uh, Shweep maker, Shweep maker, Shweep maker, um, loading wagon, 100,000 euros, 35,000. We're gonna have the whole series of these and I love it. I like, like to have everything uh, the same. Um, I think I'm gonna have this one. Uh, we can change the wheel brand, the classic. Um, yes, 20 kilometer per hour operating speed. That's, that's really good. Okay, so, uh, Buckman, Big Master, Animal Transport, two horses. This is probably what I'm going to be using for the horses. Even if I have a bigger trailer, I think this is how I'm going to, because I, I like to play small. Um, I think those two horses will be perfect for selling, buying, to, transporting, purchasing, all that uh, good stuff. 16,000 euros, not a whole lot. 
Now Lemkin, Azurit and Lemkin uh, Solitaire. Solitaire. Solitaire, yeah. Uh, planter, 26,000 euros. Fertilizer tank, that's the front tank, additional one. Uh, with a one and a half thousand capacity. That's similar combination with, like uh, Kun DLC has, but this one is a wider one. I am, this is something that I'm gonna be using a lot. This, this is something that I like. Okay, let's go on. Oh, this one has only six, uh, the rear one has only 600 liter capacity of seed. Front one has one and a half thousand liter capacity of fertilizer. Now, usually it doesn't go like that. Usually they use three times more seed than fertilizer in FS17. We'll see how this is gonna be in FS19. Right, uh, T-Series, classic 125, 175 horsepower, 102,000 euro price tag, 50, 000, 50 kilometers per hour, uh, New Holland. It has the same as a red planter here, so cedar. The same as the previous photo. Was it? Yeah, it was New Holland on this photo as well. Now, New Holland uh, TX32. This is classic. This is classic harvester. I can see it even now in Ireland. Um, and I think we had this uh, to purchase as an outside mod and it's amazing. I saw how it works. It's perfect. But somebody here didn't uh, spray their field. Uh, header TX32 header 4 meter header. This is one of the those things that I will be using on a regular basis. This is gonna be my first go to harvest, or one of the first ones. I wish they're gonna be more Rostel Marsh and most Eastern European brands just to diversify. The not only case New Holland now John Deere. I wish they're gonna have I am you know, Master Ferguson as well. We're gonna have Fent. Uh, ideal at least. Uh, I hope they're gonna be more brands of other harvesters. We saw the Fortschritt trailers, we're gonna see it now, but I hope they're gonna be Fortschritt uh, harvesters as well. Fiat, another new brand in the game and Fortschritt um, uh, trailers. Uh, both of those things I'm gonna be using a lot. Fiat, they open up the floodgates here. There's gonna be so many Fiat mods now. from now on, they're gonna create so many of them, and I love it. I see Fiat uh, tractors where I come from all the time, and uh, this is something that uh, I'm gonna be using definitely, both this and Forshit uh, trailers. New Holland, Forage Harvester, we already had something like that, not sure if it's the same model though, but yeah. And Forage Harvester header, 364,000 euro uh, price tag and uh, 775 uh, horsepower. Yes, standard white tires and white tires. White tires are the ones that I would be using with it, but we'll see. I will, I will definitely use those or Crone uh, Big M, uh, Big X. We'll see, but uh, I, I like using those. Fast track, the bigger one, 8330. 70 kilometers per hour now this is a beast this is something to transport buy sell stuff big loads road tractor this is for me what i will be using for for road i wouldn't be plowing with this but i would def i'm definitely going to use it for transporting and selling wheat uh, crumpet trailer 48,000 liters that's uh Crumpe is a not, not a new brand, but this trailer is the new one because usual the, 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 in the previous game in the FS17 you have the 54,000 liter capacity one. This one is a smaller one. I hope the Crumpe is gonna have more uh, more trailers in this game. Now this is the new thing. Uh, this is episode for itself, but uh, the. The lime. Lime is a new thing. If you spray your fields with lime, you don't have to plow them for some time. Probably those three years or something. If you don't spray uh, lime, you have to plow, plow every season. I'll be doing both. I'll definitely be going to be plowing both uh, every year. And I'm going to be spreading this. Not on the same fields, of course. But I do want to try both of those things. Uh, I hope they're gonna have smaller lime spreader, but uh, I'm pretty sure they will. Brendal, uh, was is that the new? No, no, we had these ones. Not the same model, but we had those. Puma, 
Puma. That's high end for me tractor. It's probably medium size here. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm gonna be using those. Puma is uh, one of my favorites. Manitou Magzi. Uh, Manitou, uh, different model, looks more cool, I like it, um, and uh, of course loading Hulk here, I believe so, yes, and telehandler front buck uh, bucket, uh, telehandler attachment, 20, 2600 liter capacity, I think they shrink the capacities, I think it was more, I'm pretty sure it was, I'm pretty sure that the, the for telehandler was 4500, for the wheel loaders it's for six thousand so they shrunk the capacity it's good more work to do and i think the price no i think price is the more or less the same anyway this is what i'm gonna be using a lot i like it i love how it looks it looks so modern and cool uh yeah this is the one money to uh forklift really cheap uh a bit more expensive than the front uh the, the skid steer but i like it for in the store for uh, pellet handling for pelleting the potatoes and sugar beets i'm going to be using one of those this is what i need this is what i want this is going to be perfect and last favorite fent favorite favorite 500 115 150 horsepower 76000 this is going to be the expensive i mean it's going to maintenance on this one is going to be expensive one. uh but i'm going to be using it uh, Stroutman uh, trailer, like Rainbow Dave said, it's not 4,000 to 12,000 liter capacity, it's 0 to 12,000 liter capacity because obviously uh, when you don't have sides on it, it doesn't have capacity. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the no, no jokes aside, trailer, I'm gonna be using this on a, on a regular basis. Guys, uh, that's it that is the end uh guys i hope you enjoyed this one it's a little bit of my personal commentary which obviously i'm not happy about because yeah, it's, it's me but uh hope guys you enjoyed this one if you haven't seen the some of those uh, fact sheets please do like the farming simulator facebook page you have them all there uh, this is just a little bit of a recap of uh, what's been happening with fact sheets in the last couple of months and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe if you didn't, uh, if you did, thank you, leave a comment in the comment section. Guys, see you tomorrow. Bye.